and welcome to your discovery box. Today we're going to talk about Grey Lady. Oh, you're in for a treat tonight. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Hello there. Yes, it's beautiful. It's really fine. A really fine. Yeah. Thing. It is. So I love she, She's infused with some pea flower. She's got some um, added citrus in there from uh, the Earl Grey tea with the bergamot in there, extra. I always pick, think you can pick out sort of orange and lemon in there as well. And you've got the Earl Grey tea, you've got lovely flavour, but it's subtle. It's, doesn't, it's not going to sort of hit you in the face with the taste. It's going to be subtle and beautiful. Yeah, so fine. first up, we're going to taste a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Let's it's put like a little, little bit, bit in our glass. I don't like Earl Grey tea at all, but this is just absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to pop a little bit in there and actually look at that. Joe, I think we just have a lot of that. Look at that colour. I know. Now she is named right? She's named a ghost from the Yorkshire Royal, the Grey Lady. And I just think the colour of that is quite outstanding. And that's the blue pea flower that we mentioned earlier. It's giving it that colour. So let's have a sniff. Let's get our nose in and have a good sniff. Oh. Yes, it's, oh, that's it's an amazing finish on that. It's mercurial, isn't it? I don't know how they've managed to create such a, mm. such a silvery finish. It smells amazing. Okay, guys, this is the best bit. Let's get, let's get tasting it. Have a little stir. Get your tongue in there. Mmm. Oh, my. It's really soft. There's it something is. in there that's just making it so Super smooth, and it's the balance. We're all about the balance at York Gin. You know, if you don't get the balance right, then your gin's harsh and it doesn't taste great. That's so you could drink that neat happily. It's super smooth. I do. You can, it, what are you picking up? What are you getting? <laughs> oh, no. What are you What are you getting? What am I getting? Um, certainly the bergamot. Very, very, very subtle, but mm. beautiful. I love that. Uh, yeah, again, I, I, I'm getting I do, lemon. I, I, I was going to say, I do like it with citrus things, though. I, I often put orange with it. I really mm, like it. With I do, too. Let's pop a bit of ice in and see if we get those oils released and see what happens. Yes, don't forget to coat it all over your tongue when you're tasting that, because different parts mm. of the tongue pick up different flavours. And again, we can actually see the oils actually going around the glass there, being released with that with the ice cube. Just super. Let's go again. Mm. Mm. Lovely. Oh, wow. It's so it's warm, totally different. It? I'm getting. Oh. Uh, our our shop manager calls it her morning gin, doesn't she? Because it's so fragrant and fine. I think I'm getting that. I, I am getting the bergamot now. I'm really, really getting a little bit. So it's it's so rounded. That's the thing. The thing I can't get over is that there's no harsh edges whatsoever. Really beautiful. Right now we're in for the treat. Let's make the proper G G and T. So in your box you should have got a uh, fever tree refreshingly light. So first of all, let's add a load more ice and then our double shot of our grey lady. Yeah, best kept in the fridge if you can. You know, always nice, serve cold, obviously. Yeah, definitely. And if you can, but do we like that? We do. Oh, we're a big fan of ice. Oh, no, don't you, Frank? You carry on. I was just going to say, if you can get these giant ice cubes, they're even they're just superb because the bigger the ice cube, the colder your gin stays for longer um, without being diluted. So I tend to have these really, really massive ones. Look, they're almost like huge, great so bits of the so Antarctic. Yeah, I just put a double shot of Grey Lady into my uh, York Gin uh, balloon or copper, copper de ballon, to give them their full title. So I've just put my gin in there. Now I'm going to open my tonic. Now I like a long drink, so I'm going to put quite a lot of tonic in there. But it's actually your gin, your way. You put as much or as little tonic as you want. I'm going to actually put quite a long one like that. There we go. And now, now is the exciting bit. Let's see what's in the package, shall we? So you should have a little package. Let's open it up. Grey lady. Woo! Oh, it's dried lemon peel. Let's get that in there. That's smashing. I'm going to use mine as little stirrers as well. Oh, lovely. That looks now very that tempting. Now going to be absolutely delicious. Are you ready? Let's I give it a go. Cheers, everyone. Mmm.
Oh, Gosh, that's just lovely. Gorgeous. Mm. That absolutely is lovely. It, it's just gorgeous. Yes, absolutely beautiful. And uh, lots of other ways to serve it if you look online as well. Exactly. Always, all lots of different serving suggestions. We always talk about um, making, uh, complementing what's in it. I often ser uh, serve this with a slice of lemon and a slice of orange. Uh, the mm. dried lemon peel is giving it the rich, it's giving it a lovely rich flavour. Gosh, everyone, you're lucky people. Enjoy the rest of your discovery box and we'll see you soon. Take care for now. Bye.